Gadget Beat 30 here and I just wanted to share my eyebrow routine with ya. Just something simple. This is what I do on a daily basis. Just a couple products, two brushes, and you're good to go. So if you want to see this look, then keep on watching. So the first thing I like to do, like everybody else, is get my little spoolie. And this is actually the Morphe M158 brush. So let's take the little spoolie end. And I brush the front. And then I do my extension. You can see I don't really have that much to work with already. But, um, yeah, and then I do the little tail. So on both sides. Just to make them more uniform. And then I take my NYX um, brow pencil, and this is, I think it's just brown or black brown, dark brown. It's dark brown. <laughs> and then I like my pencil sharp, but not like hella sharp. So where it breaks as soon as you touch your freaking eyebrow, which happens to me all the damn time. But anyway, so I'm going to start with underlining the bottom. Then I just follow the shape of the brow. And on my extension, I just make it short. For me, this part could be anything. You don't really, you can mess it up. You could be really messy if you need to be. It doesn't really make a difference because you're just filling it in. And I shade lightly in the front. And I don't really mess with like this part too much. I just shade it in a little bit because we're going to move it around with the brush anyway. So then we do the second side. And please let me remind you, my brows are definitely sisters and not twins because one is like higher than the other. Then one wants to be crazy and shoot straight up while this one doesn't want to grow in the front. Like I have all kinds of issues with my brows. Going. So yeah. Once they pretty much look like that, then I get, put the cap on, get rid of that. And then I use two different, um, two different, what do you call these? Like angled brushes. I use two different ones. So I use that Morphe one, and then I use this one by Jessup. This one I use to put the, the brow powder on. This one I use just to fill in. So I'm going to fill it in, like move the product around in the front and everything with this brush. So at first I do go front to back just to soften up that line that first line you don't want it to be too harsh and then once i find it's soft enough then i go up in the front and then i kind of just make sure that all the little gaps are filled in as i go towards the back and that i'm really dragging it to make that extension as sharp as i can I freehand my brows like majority of the time because I don't feel like I have all that time to sit up here and conceal. I just push my um, foundation around it when I'm done adding my foundation because I do brows, eyeshadow, foundation. This side I kind of turn my brush to make like little hairs. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, you can make a mess, put them everywhere. It really doesn't make a difference because you're going to use a concealer to clean it up anyway. So once you feel like you're full enough in the brow area, then we could get rid of this one, throw that back in there. Then I'm going to take my concealer and I have the Pro Conceal and Fawn, which I really like, and I'm going to use that one to go under the brow to clean it up. I hate when you squeeze these and then that air comes out, then you have like 50% less product. So anyway, gonna go right up under it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm pretty good with this little applicator tip, but sometimes you need to use a little brush to get up under there too. So.
So there for that. And then for the top part, I'm going to use Toast Pro Conceal. I use two different shades. I use one closer to my foundation color um, for the top just because I don't want that light halo around my eyebrows. Some people like that, and it looks good on some people, but I'm darker in skin tone, so I don't feel like I want to be that light around my eyebrows. Just personal preference. Um, so you just do the same thing. On the top, on both sides. Just like that. And then, of course, if you find, like I do all the time, that's what the powder is for. Like, I get gaps in my brow where there's no hair or, you know what I mean, I screwed up with my concealer. I just go over it with the powder and I fill everything in with the powder after I blend my concealer. That's what really gives me that little crisp edge. And so, um, also, I'm going to take my concealer brush by Jessup. It's just like a synthetic brush. I like it because it's just, I don't know, it's nice. <laughs> and then I'm going to blend in the bottom. That's me clicking my glasses. People are always like, you're going to ruin them that way. That's okay. You get some more. You get some more every, like, couple years, right? <laughs> so then we just blend this in underneath the bottom. Like I said, I'm pretty good with that little applicator, so I don't. it's not like I'm really shaping or anything. And then also what I do is I take my ring finger and I blend it out. What more? I don't want there to be a line. I'm going to go ahead and blend it. The same. Like this. And I go upward. And then I like to make sure that it goes high enough that it's going to meet with that foundation. Because I don't like to get too close to the brow once it's already done with the foundation. So that's why. But yeah, so blend all that out. All that concealer. So once we do that, then I look at it and tell if it's, if I need to get rid of some stuff in the middle. Like so. So then we're going to take that spoolie one more time. We're going to go in the front and like get those hairs up there to blend with that pencil. So then, oh, these are getting out of control on the front here. But anyway, after you blend it with the pencil, then you're going to take that other brush that I told you, the other um, flat brush. And the powder that I'm using, it's old as salt, like literally. <laughs> it's from Mark, and I don't even know if Mark is around anymore. This was a flip for it like kit from Avon Mark, you know, and the shadow color is Skyline, which is like this brown right here. And that's what I use for my brows. But you could use whatever eyeshadow or powder you have that's brown. It doesn't have to be this one. Um, so I take this, just dip in and tap on the sides because it gets, there's a little fallout. But um, so then I go from the middle, just covering up like any of that excess concealer or any sparse areas where the hair really doesn't grow and you've already put the pencil you're just kind of topping this off to give it that like opaque color to it and so then you do the other one Like, and then if you've, um, like, under it with the concealer, if you missed any parts or, like, you messed up with your brush, just fill it back in with the powder. It just gives you that, like, extra hint of, I need to proof my brows to make sure I'm not putting, you know, just letting the wet sit there with nothing on top of it, so. And I go up just to make a couple little hairs. And then sometimes, sometimes I might set it if this is like it. If this is all I'm going to do, then I take like this big, this not kabuki brush. What is this? This big, large powder brush by Jessup. Powder brush by Jessup. And I 
just tap along where I put where I put that concealer. And of course, I would continue on with my eyelid from here. But this is pretty much all I do for my brows. That's it. And they look pretty good, I think. Don't you think? Yeah. So anyway, if you guys want to see any more videos, then you can go ahead and like, subscribe, and you can also go ahead and hit that notification down there so you can catch me at a later date. So thank you for watching, and this is the finished product.